for Marvel and Creed star Jonathan Majors, there's more fallout with news that additional alleged victims are coming forward. Variety reports multiple women are cooperating with the Manhattan DA. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Jonathan's attorney maintains his innocence and today gave E.T. security camera and police body cam images, which they say are from the night of the original incident and exonerate him. If you'll recall, just over three weeks ago, a 30-year-old woman believed to be Jonathan's girlfriend claimed he struck her in the face with an open hand, grabbed her hard enough to cause bruising, and placed his hand on her neck. So how could these images prove the star's not guilty? Well, his lawyer says seeing her drinking at a nightclub hours after the incident and later using the finger she says he broke to get up to his hotel room is proof. Marble come through, mm -hmm. let's go. The alleged victim has also now been identified as a woman who worked on Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I will take my revenge on those who banished me, and I will burn them out of time. Both Disney and Marvel wouldn't comment on Jonathan's future with the franchise. A court hearing is scheduled for May 8th, but his career appears to be in free fall. One after the other after the other. His U.S. Army ads have been pulled. The Texas Rangers just dropped him from their ad campaign, which was set to launch tomorrow. His appearance at the upcoming Met Gala, canceled. Both his management and PR teams have reportedly quit. And as for starring in the Dennis Rodman biopic in the works, E.T. has learned the studio, Lionsgate, is watching the news developments closely. Dennis, I'm coming for you. Meanwhile, Alec Baldwin's involuntary manslaughter charge has reportedly been dropped. His lawyers telling E.T., quote, we are pleased with the decision. This comes as Rust went back into production today, a year and a half after Helena Hutchins was shot and killed on set. That's Alec kissing wife Ilaria with their daughter in New York, just 24 hours before heading to Yellowstone Film Ranch in Montana, where principal photography resumed. The film's attorney telling E.T., quote, the production will continue to bar any use of working weapons and any form of ammunition.